Transit Authority says it needs to make emergency cutbacks to some bus routes. Well, the reason? They don't have enough drivers. New specialist Lad Egan live now with some of the changes. Lad? Yeah, Dan, UTA says it doesn't want to make these changes, but that it's forced to because of the lack of drivers. Right now, they are down about 85 bus drivers, and most of those are here in Salt Lake County. We just know going into the winter months that it's going to be very, very difficult. Typically, we offer traditional ski bus services, but that's additional demand for bus operators. And so how do we handle that? Well, for now, the solution is to modify 17 bus routes and also suspend three others. The changes won't take place until early December. The areas impacted include Davis, Salt Lake, Summit, and Weber counties, including ski service. It does not impact front runner tracks, paratransit, or other services. UT says it's seen an unexpected number of drivers leaving during the pandemic, some going to jobs that don't require as much interaction with the public. We've had supervisors who've been willing to jump into the seat and drive buses, cover routes. We've had other operators who've been willing to cover routes and work overtime. But there's only so much overtime you can throw at people and ask them to do. And it, finally, it reaches a point where it's just not tenable anymore. Utah County is not impacted because it is fully staffed with enough drivers. Most of the changes make the wait between buses longer, up to an hour in some cases, while some routes are being shortened. UTA is still working out the details on some of the ski routes, but be warned that those buses will run at a reduced frequency. And UTA says that it is hiring a consultant, trying to figure out a game plan for how to hire more people and also retain the employees that it's got. If you want to see if your bus route is impacted, we've got a link to the full list of changes. That's on our website, ksltv.com. Dan and Dini, back to you.